Written and drawn by Blitzdrachen. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of responsible monster ownership, Keizu is the most appropriate pet for humans? Not only do they have a flabby, rubbery hide, which is easy to keep clean, many of their blood vessels and veins can be seen through their pale skin, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Oh no! You don't have enough time to take your Palamute to a walk? Is COVID-19 messing with you? Don't fucking worry. Keizu spends most of their lives in the dark. Their eyes have regressed greatly, so you don't even have to worry about privacy. But that's not everything. Keizu are hermaphrodites, which means an individual is both male and female. You don't have to worry about not having enough Keizu or about finding the right partner for your Keizu pet. Just have two of them, and in a couple of months, you'll have your own Keizu army. To reproduce, they paralyze a creature and inject their young, known as whelps. The whelps grow inside their victim until it dies. Or when they are strong enough, the whelps then leave, causing the victim to die. Whichever comes first. <laughs> Concerned citizen. So what's the trick to make sure your Keizu will not incubate their youngs into you? Answer, a sensible and mature conversation. Sit your Keizu down and let them know you are not interested in having that kind of relationship with them. Calmly explain to them that while the rejection might hurt right now, it is better than both of you hooking up in what would ultimately be a one-sided relationship that would just end up in heartbreak. You are both young and can wait to find the right one to settle down with. Finally, reassure them by letting them know you still want to be friends. 